Sean Combs, popularly called Didi, says he went through a state of dark depression in a video message recorded to mark the end of 2019 and celebrate the new year. Hmm. Now, there's a lot going on with Didi right now, mm. from his um, alleged gay, gay. confession, mm. now to him... Um, no, did he really confess being gay? Nope. No, I I, that's why I said alleged okay. gay mm. confession to um, this video that was released where he said um, he went through a dark phase of depression all through 2019 that some people might have had it really good, but it was difficult for mm. some. But what helped him was um, the beautiful people around him who helped to lift him up and um, I think um, it's, it said no matter the money, no matter the fame, everything, that you are still prone to depression. Depression is real. So I think that's a topic that we've been dwelling on a lot in 2019, 2018. We spoke about, um, we spoke a lot about depression and a lot of people actually came out about their depression um, state and all of that. So I think um, we all know by now that this is not a topic to play around with. Depression is real. A lot of people, we, we saw more um, suicide um, in Nigeria in 2019, in 2018 20 slash 2019, than all the previous years we've had in this country. So um, I think um, this is real. So coming from a Didi, I would say that, okay, this is very uh, motivational because if you see him, you think he has all the stuff put together and all of that, but it's letting you know that even with all those videos you saw, with all, with all the ad work he put in, it was still going through a phase. So um, like you rightly said, if you know anyone going through a dark time, a hard time, this is the right time to just show them some love, be supportive and... Um, I'm sure everything will get better. So for everyone going through depression out there, our heart goes out to you and we can only pray you get better. But um, I don't know what you guys have to say on this one. Okay, um, for me, I think, <clears throat> I, I mean, I'll, I'll probably fall on the side of the people that think that the reason why he's depressed is because he, he wants to, you know, come, come out, out of, and, of his closet and just openly tell everybody that he's gay. Because to be honest, a lot of celebrities, he has been caught in situations, words of his own rather, and then they, they won't give him the chance to take it back or try to correct all those things that is pointing to him being gay. And I mean, if you're not living your truth, it is something that can lead to depression and that is very sad. But <clears throat> I'm happy that he has good people around him to help him come out of that and like you rightly said if you have anybody depressed around you just look out for them and I hope that the internet trolls will just calm down with him. It's talking about depression and people are still not taking it easy with him, telling him, okay, just come out of your closet, tell us you're gay and you'll be fine. But I think they should just take it slow with him and understand that he's not in that very good position to, you know, receive all that backlash right now. I think for the longest time Nigerians um, were pretty much a denial about mental health issues around yeah. there because when you say mental health issues, the first thing to think about, the thing maybe you're going mental, you're going insane, psychiatry, you know, but um, it's coming to the fore right now and depression is no respecter regard whether you're rich or whether you're poor. Yeah. It's a mental state mm -hmm. issue, it's a mental issue, it's a mental health issue. Um, look at someone like Robbie Williams who would have thought, I mean, he, he was successful in his career, he had money. And look at someone like Avicii, I mean, he was successful, yeah, I mean, he the had list many. Is long. And also we can stop calling out names to let you know that mental health is, has nothing to do with you being poor, has nothing to do with being rich. For those mm. of you who because um, you're poor, you don't have money, that's why you have a mental health issue. No, mm -mm. It, it cuts across the board on everybody. Even and the best life. Yeah. Even the people most that, the people even the people the that life, are loved. Yeah, exactly. You know, even most people, people that live in their best life that yeah. we all get to admire mm. on Instagram. You know, you want to have a bit of their life. They, they, they deal with things. That's mm. it. There's just something that it's not just connecting. The dots are not just connecting. Mm. And that could just be the, the dark part of their life and the sad part of their life. And if not properly taken care of, they become suicidal, you know. And Didi, Didi, I still don't want to, I just want to <laughs> believe that Didi is just messing around with people's minds. Mm. With the um, Blood Orange song, yeah, where yeah, with the they blood, called... Listen, that is art. I can say anything in, in art form. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, life imitates art and, and vice versa. Until, I, mean, I mean, I was feeling that way yeah. until he started taking his fellow man to another male strip no, those club. those things happened until... way back. So you know, let's I give mean, examples it's still, of it's things still, that happened again, where... 
again, it could just be for the fun of it, a different kind of vibe, a different kind of mm. fun, you know. Would you go to? Because I asked myself, if, that's it, I asked myself. Oh, would you call it fair daddy? Up. If there was a, no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's suspense, Gage, bro. I mean. Gage, remember, remember, there was already a lot of alcohol in that show. Mm. Mm. They, they, they're taking a whole lot. So at that point, I think Diddy, Diddy's messing around with people's mind. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. um, not only but it, a lot it, of people <laughs> are now say that, okay, with Porter, this happened then, the girl that was engaged to for a long time, for Cassie. 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 Mm. And then they said, okay, maybe that's the reason why did he have a child and then she moved on. So I wouldn't say it's gay, then probably mm. it just swings, it swings both Good ways. ways. Mm. You know? Of course, for him to have a relationship and then, with and someone then, for um, a very For long someone time. like Didi, who is a public figure, I think is the good um, endorser of the LGBT community. Mm. So you could have been paid good money for those words he said on that song, just to make it look like a DD it's an artist. support. It's an artist. And then if you notice that Diddy has been talking a lot on songs, he's been talking on uh, Make Mills track, uh, what's the name of that song now? I can't remember for, um, for the right song, yeah? But um, he, he said a lot on that song. The part two of that song came out, he was still talking. So we know Diddy to be somebody who talks. And then I tried to watch the end of that video where everything happened. I think he spoke about that based on circumstances. And for all you care, he could have been talking about a woman and saying, okay, be open to no, the love. Course. Be loved the way you want to be loved. Ignore the fear. It's if art. you feel music like... Music is art. That's the art form of music. And so, like Ella Riley said, that yeah, you could, you could decide to did you use mm. otherwise from that song? Again, it could just... And it could you know, just be music. It's my bad boy yeah. nature. Just, mm. I need someone to love me for who I am. I, I really don't want to commit to anybody. I just want to play around, but still, hey, be there for me. Love me for who I am, what you mm. see. And... And what, and I, I ask myself this. What does, Didi, what does Didi have to lose if he actually comes out and say, I am gay? He has nothing to and lose. It, he I, has I, kids already. To be honest, no. a, lot I mean, of, it, yeah, a yeah. lot of people kept on asking that <laughs> question. Like, Didi, kids. if you're really exactly. gay, just come out because people will still listen to you. People will still celebrate you. You're there already. Just come out and say it. And, okay. and that guy is 52 years old. I don't think at this age, he would not know exactly what he wants. That's it. So no, 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 but, no, no, don't say that. Again, he could be very yeah. careful again. Well, you know, don't I mean, say that. It's a black that. community. Yeah. Acceptance, rejection, mm. he can, all of that can still be going through mm. his mind. Even from his own you know, family, yeah. he, might, he might just be trying to protect his family, yeah, his children, and everybody around him. So, it's so, a difficult and, and one. And this is, again, to let the whole world know that, you know what, the world we're living today, some people are gay, deal with it. I mean, Especially yeah. when it's not in Nigeria where I mean, it's a crime. It's a Western um, country where it's, a, it's acceptable. So I think it's okay for DD.